the people at home don't. Yeah. All right, we got Frozen. Frozen. Oh. Frozen versus Solarts. This is gonna be a, a very close set, actually. Uh, yeah. Solarts being the top show player on Long Island. And um, Frozen being PGR number 46, previously top five in five in New York, even though he didn't really manage to get on the PR for this season. Yeah, he hasn't had as many results uh, as of last season. So, but he does play Palu. So uh, we're about to get yeah. into this. This is for who's going to get out on winner's side of pools. Yeah, this is pools yeah. finals. Yeah, and with such great talent on it. Palutano, the Nair Spammer, versus Shulk, the Nair Spammer. This is going to be fun. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say Shulk can really Nair Spam, but... Well, he kind of can with, like, speed art and stuff. I guess. He has a lot of startup on his uh, on his aerials, including Nair, and that's the sort of thing you want to punish. Um, of course, Bayo... I'm uh, not Bayo. <laughs> Palu has a lot of good yeah, burst yeah. options, um, which will be able to catch those on landing, I think. Yeah, Especially I think. that back air. Uh, Frozen is just kind of taking his advantage and just keeping it. He's going to get 77% on um, on Solar. Yeah, so Solar is really having trouble pushing his advantage here. He's getting some hits in neutral, but it's just not really connecting into anything. Yeah, he's going into Buster. Probably a good choice because it kind of prevents him from dying and also lets him get some more percent onto his opponent. But now he's going to have to go into Shield. All right, that was a great roll in though. It was helped him get stage control, but the dash tech not gonna kill yet. Yeah, I just barely beat out a shield art in, on the timing. These uh, air dodges giving Solar it's a lot of trouble uh, continuing his punish game. He's at yeah. 170 though. If he can, you know, mount some sort of big combo here, he can put himself in a good spot. Yeah, because now, now at 170, like. A lot of kill confirms have stopped working, but the back throw is still not going to take it. Yeah. This is kind of where you're getting desperate. Yeah, that Nair, though. The Nair Listen, update. listen. Frozen's not a player to get desperate. Not everyone's going to get desperate. Yeah. And Fro uh, that, that runoff Nair, though, that's going to allow him, Frozen, to get the first stock. All right. So um, he's going to try. Ooh, oh, that, wow, was that was a great a read on the... Uh, the, the up On the teleport. He's going to barely hit the last hit with Smash Art. Oh, wow. That down throw did literally no knockback. He probably could have, like, jabbed him. So he's going to try. to fair that auto reticle, I think. Yeah. That back throw did 80. Oh, my gosh. That was a great call. Yeah, that was a great lead on the high recovery. Yeah. And you're just going to up smash him. Very good option. The cover's really high. Yeah, so now Solar's not in a great predicament. He's on the ledge against Palu. Frozen trying to get some sort of read. He wants to do neutral get up. Uh, you can see as he tries to roll in, he probably wanted to get a back throw yeah, and that stock early. Frozen's ledge dropping is incredible. She, he is just able to keep you on the ledge for so long. <laughs> and he is really doing a lot with his advantage again. He's going to mm -hmm. get 130%. Solar's is kind of not really being able to answer it very well. He's going to get the Nair, going to send him off stage. Let's see if he can get anything off of it. All right, that F-Tilt going to push Soul Arts to the edge. Oh, that was great use of Jumbinato to get out of that situation. Catch Frozen there, sitting center stage. All right. So as we've established with Last Talk, Frozen doesn't really get desperate. He's just fishing for his options. He doesn't space that dash attack well, so. Well, fishing is getting desperate. Well, fishing, well, I mean, you can't, like, it depends on your, like, your perception of fishing, I guess. I don't know. Let's continue on. All right. So, at 172 again, uh, Deja Vu is settling in. Ooh, Let's see what what happened there? Oh, we up air. That was a yeah, great recovery from Soul Arts. He got the reading one doing there, but the, that's not going to save him from the back air. So, Frozen up a stock here, but Soul Arts looks like he's getting more of a hang of this matchup. Yeah, he's definitely adapting very well, and his pro is, he's keeping it close despite going down stock first both times. Is he going to try and go for, like, a smash art? That's, that's, that sounds like kind of the best option right now. He's going to go for speed. Yeah, the shield art's going to help him out. Great air dodge to get to avoid that up tilt. Smash Monado. Or smash art, rather. Yep. Well, I mean, I guess you can call it both things. Up and that, shield, up that's going to kill. Yep. Even though he ran out of smash art, it's still going to kill. Mm. Now he's going to jump. He's probably just going to kind of keep biding his time. There's still three and a half minutes on the clock. Nah, he's continuing to build up that damage. Yeah. Both of them trying to find a hidden neutral here. 
but uh, Frozen just waiting out that Buster art. Huh. You can um, you can just see them going at it. You can like, both of them are trying their best to get some hits in neutral. Oh, all right. Solar's not able to get the punish there on the weird uh, up B. Yeah. It hit into the side, I guess, in sweet spot. Yeah, I guess he wasn't ready for that. Ooh, tries to go for that up air. The Nair's gonna catch him out of it. Solarts in the corner. He read him and then he got like basically nothing off of it because of shield art. Is that gonna be it? No. Oh my god, he's back. That speed art probably gave him a little bit more mobility <laughs> to get it back. Actually, it sort of hindered him there because uh, you get less of a jump height. Uh, I don't know if it affects the up east, so. Uh, I don't think it does at all. <laughs> Yeah. It's all right, though. Uh, maybe it affects some aerial drift. Right. And I think up B is... Uh, what is it? Up B doesn't change with Minato Arts. Up B changes so with his jump. aerial drift was, was helped, actually. That, that's probably the case. Up B actually does uh, change with jump. It goes higher. Oh, really? Yeah, it does. But we're going to go back into shield art. He just kind of bide his time. He is uh, he's just looking for hits in neutral. Of course, they won't do much if he's in smash art. Not shield. Not that. Shield art. I think she... Uh, Frozen almost gets that back throw. Yeah, he tried baiting oh, me out with uh, that. He went to the Monado wheel to try and bait out an approach from uh, Frozen, but Frozen didn't bite that, so. Yeah. Frozen's gonna take game one. Yep. Uh, I think Solaris just had a really rough start, and he was able to bring it back in the end. Like, Frozen was at a pretty high percent. So, I think with his counter pick, uh, Solaris is going to be able to mount some sort of win on this game, too. Yeah, so I let's see how he just. I definitely could see that happen. I mean, he, he did get very close. And he definitely does show signs of adapting. Uh, you know, it wouldn't surprise me if Solar <laughs> was commanding the set from now on. But I guess we'll wait and see. Game two, we're going in. We are going back to Pokemon Stadium. Not Smashville. All right, both of them trying to find this hit, playing some footsies here. All right, the Nair finally catches Soul Arts, but he gets in the Shield Monado. He's able to punish off of this. Yeah. But now he's got Frozen on the ledge. Buster Art right, is kind of gambling with damage that he's trying to do here because it gives you more damage, but you also take more damage. So I it's mean, kind of a trade-off. You can say any Monado Art would be a trade-off. Well, yeah, but it's kind of... This one's probably one of the most... Um, I, I'd say Smash, Smash Art is the most trade-off. Oh, I said one of... So uh, he's going to get him off stage. Palu, another character with a very good teleport recovery, is going to be hard to edge guard her. So, um, we're seeing a lot of good options in neutral. Of course, Shulk has the Nair, the forward air, and Palu has the Nair, the forward. Ooh, tries to Wait go for some sort of low recovery read. Yeah. Tries the to go for the backslash. Frozen's ready for that. We saw in game one he was punishing that with up smash as well. Yeah, that up throw barely even did anything. <laughs> it's kind of, it's actually kind of funny to see him that's not go anywhere because mm. he's in shield. Uh, I'll be out of shield. He's gonna reverse it. Smash Monado. He's on the ledge. Fourth throw. Not that's, gonna do it. That actually didn't kill. Is that one like under a hundred? Yeah, but I mean, it's Smash Art. Smash is Smash Art is very powerful. They kind of toned up his Monado art Ooh, a lot. what a read get up on the... Uh, actually, I, I don't know if that's necessarily a read on the get-up attack as much as, like, going high with his uh, up B. The back here, though, that's going to take Soul Art's first stock. Yeah. He's looking a lot better than game one, but he's still behind. He needs to catch up here. This game is going very slowly. Both of the players are um, just picking their Ooh, options. Ooh, fair going to two-frame. Yeah, very powerful, long reach. Yeah, so uh, Soul Art's going to even things out. And we're at two stocks apiece. Yeah. So far, slight lead for Soul Arts. Almost <laughs> gets a Tomahawk grab with Palutena. Oh, what a great counter out of that. Yeah. Soul Arts getting out of that punish there. Resetting neutral. Ooh, tries to get the back hit in there. Not going to connect. All right, Frozen at the edge. Solar's playing very patiently. He's got the percent lead, but now he's off stage. Oh, Jumpinato can help him out. He gets back to center stage. 
Gonna parry the Nair, not gonna work out the second hit, it's gonna hit him. And now, up smash, great way from Soul Arts. He's going to wait that out, get the uppy. Now he's in a position, he's got Smash Dart on the board. Let's see what he can do with it. He is, this is a very scary place to be in for both players. Mm. Both of them know that they can just die to any straight hit. He's gonna, okay, he's gonna disable Jumpman. Frozen does a great job trying to bait things out, but Soul Arts also does a great job not taking the bait. So both of them were at this like weird, uh, you know. Little equal equilibrium with them. Yeah. Oh, tries oh, to go for the shield. Not gonna, he's going to get Buster. A little I, bit of a no, mess he's up. Not he's not going to be able to recover. I don't know if he had jumped. Mm. I, don't, I don't know if he even had a, the um, the time to enable jump. Yeah. But he's got Smash Minato. He's got Frozen at the ledge. Frozen doing a great job waiting. Using that fair to catch Soul Arts off guard. Yeah. And now Soul Arts is put in another disadvantageous position. Now we've seen the all smash is going to take it. The forward smash. All right. So there's not really a lot to comment on that we haven't already commented on in this neutral. He's going to get a lot of percent off of that forward air to dash attack. Down throw back air almost going to kill. Yeah, Soul Arts in a bad situation. He's on the ledge. All right, so great weight from Soul Arts part. Frozen tries Down to throw. go for the counter, but he uh, continues yeah. to just ledge trap him here, push him in the corner. He just barely hits the, the, the wrong hit of the parry. Well, Soul Arts off stage 140, and that explosive flame's gonna do it. That's so, gonna be it for the set. Yeah, Frozen's gonna take it too well. Yeah. Again, I was kind of expecting it. 